Hello everyone and welcome to Imperian Galactic Survival Tutorials for Reforged Eden. My name is Rakuna and I'm Bart. If you don't know me, be sure to check out Rakuna's Imperian Galactic Survival Reforged Eden series. F thank you, Bart. Now today we're going to be looking at a how to collect salvage drone swarm processors. You'll need a lot of those to make the advanced auxiliary cores and other type of blueprints. So I'll be mainly concentrating on how to get them in space, especially in drone territory. Well, you'll be able to collect your fill of it. So the first ship we'll be going after is the Drone Scout. The best way to take on the Drone Scout is to target the generators. Don't focus on taking down those pesky turrets. You'll be taking this puppy out in a matter of seconds. There you go. Yeah, I think we might have overdone it. Anyways, be quick afterwards to go outside and collect your loot. As soon as you attack one of these drones, it alerts all the other ones. As you can see, they're all pretty much heading over my way. Second one we'll be wanting to take down is the Needler. This is another ship that isn't all that strong. A couple of well-placed missiles and take down the generators. You'll be rendering it useless in a matter of second as well. There you go. Next one we'll be wanting to take out are the harvesters. Now the harvesters come in many forms. They can be single ships flying about in space, or they can come in a group surrounding an asteroid. You can also find them on planets, but we won't be covering those just yet. Again, select the generators, and you should be taking them down quite easily. As you can see, there are four around this uh, current asteroid. Just target the side of the ships, and you should be taking down all of their generators in a matter of seconds as well. And there you go. After that, you can go out and collect all of the salvage drone processors. Now, so far, all of these ships I've been showing you are non-shielded. But once we'll get to the shielded ships, it might be a different story. Yeah, as you can see right now, they are all grouped together, which is going to make things a little bit more complicated. If you don't want to have to take them all on at the same time, you can warp out and warp back in. Right now I've warped to another system and they are not alerted to me, so they won't be all grouped together. And if I warp back in the other system, they will have the grouped as well. But be warned, doing this might despawn the destroyed ship that you've taken on. The next ship we'll be taking on is the Dismantler. Yet again, the Dismantler is another unshielded ship. So target the generators and you should be able to take it out quite easily. And there we go. Fire away. Destroy the damn thing. And a little bit of artillery. Boom. On the side. And there you go. We've cored it. And it comes with big booms as well. Now the next one we'll be taking on is the Small Swarm. Now these compose of three ships. You can also select the uh, generators. They are not shielded, so you don't need to worry about that. And by selecting the generators, you should be taking care of them in short order. Well, apparently I was wrong. It is four ships. <laughs> so again, aim for the side and wow. Okay, that was a big explosion. Now these don't have like immense firepower, so taking care of them it should not be a problem. And you should be able to withstand their attacks with your shields only. And there you go. It has been completely deactivated. Now after that, it is time to reap the reward. Now up to the shielded ships. The first one we'll be taking on is a nullifier. Sometimes in the era, you'll be able to spot many nullifiers at the same time. Two or three, up to five. And these guys are shielded and extremely deadly, so make sure to be able to take down their shields quite efficiently. Now, as you can see, there are two different types of nullifier. One that has three ships accompanying them, and a one that is solo. Again, try and target the generators as much as possible. To take down the generators, you need to shoot at the body of the nullifier. All right, so once the shields are down, fire at will. Try to aim the main body, and you should be able to deactivate it in short order. Now, don't expect to go into a fight with nullifiers and come out unscathed. These ones are deadly as hell, and they can take you down quite easily if you're not careful. And there you go. By aiming at the main body, we finally deactivate it. Now would be the time to go inside and reap the reward. Can I do this one, Rakuna? Yeah, sure, you go ahead. You haven't had your say yet. So the swarm controller is a little different. You can do it by aiming with generators, but don't listen to Rakuna. 
You can aim generators if you want, or you can defang the bees before. Yeah, that, that's totally right. You know, what I'm saying is just my way of doing it, but you can do it how you want to. So like the small swarm, the swarm controller is surrounded by a couple of ships. And it is shielded as well, so concentrate on taking down its shields, and after that, there is a sweet spot on the main body. Oh, and did I forget to say, it spawns in some prone swarmers. So, yeah, for now I'm gonna focus my fire on the main ship. As you can see, it is very well shielded, and it's gonna take a little bit of time to take down. Now on the main... Hey, Raccoon, I thought I was doing it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, on the main ship, there is a little sweet spot where the core is. Now, if you can, you can try and hit it with your artillery to completely deactivate the ship. Yeah, that's right. So right now, you are currently under or over the ship. I don't know. I don't know either. Anyways, we're just shooting at it and it's going rather well so far. Once the shields are down, switch to artillery and just fire away. And it was a direct hit. Well done, Rakuna. My god, I did pretty damn well. Okay, could you please stop firing at it? Damn. Now all of these ships probably hold a little bit of these uh, <laughs> rewards. And now it's doing this spinny spinny thing, which uh, which kind of sucks. To fix that, I've already mentioned that in one of my tutorial videos. You could just go out of render range and return and they should have stopped spinning. Or you could try and stick a core on it. I think that should stop the spinning as well. So the next ship on the list is the big, the deadly, the Guardian. So while examining the ship, I noticed that the Guardian barely has any weak spots. You want to do? Lower the shields and try and take out its weapons. And also you can select thrusters. It has a very limited amount of thrusters in the back, and I imagine that if you deactivate them, you should be able to take it down quite fast. Well, before I take on this Guardian, which is firing some amazing weapons at me, look at that go, damn it. I am just going to take out this stupid nullifier. I don't want to be bothered by any other ships while I'm doing this. So this is the fourth one I'm fighting, and uh, yeah, they, they are very deadly. So before you actually take on the other one, it is good to deactivate these ones. Otherwise, you'll have them supporting the Guardian, and uh, it's going to make it a lot more difficult for your ship. Uh, to come out with uh, the least amount of damage as possible. So once your shields are recharged enough, the best approach would be to try and grab it from behind. So we're going to make our approach, take care of lowering the shields, and after that we try to stick behind it as much as possible. Now, there's no real way to avoid these uh, missiles, so let's get at it. Let's take down that little sucker's shields, and hopefully we don't take too much damage from all this. So I am behind it right now, I'm gonna try and stay here as much as possible. It is still able to fire at me, maybe I'm, I'm getting a little less return fire from them. But hopefully I'll be able to hold on until we actually deactivate this ship. Now that little bugger has amazing shields, so it might take a while before you're able to actually lower it. That little sucker took down all of my manual fire. Damn it. So as you can see, guardians are one not to be trifled with. Be ready. Be ready to get a little bit of damage out of that bugger because taking down a shield is uh, taking much more time than I anticipated. I'm gonna take on one of these bad boys, have a friend with you. Though the shields are finally down, now we're gonna be able to finally take down these thrusters so it'll stop moving. That is one down, and now for the other big one. I think each one is surrounded by four small thrusters, but you should be able to take care of them in short order. So now that this has been done. I'm gonna remove thruster from targets and gonna take care of these missile launchers. So let's defang that bad boy. And yeah, we're causing a lot of damage. It is causing a lot of damage to my ship as well. I am taking a hell of a beating. So, you know, I don't know if there's any easy way of actually taking down this bastard. Oh my god, this is gonna cost so much to repair. So, it has been defanged. At this point, I guess you could stop firing at it and just go inside. Rakuna, I think you busted up the ship a bit. Oh, don't, don't you worry about that. We'll get it fixed. Yeah, it's gonna cost a lot of money. Yeah, I'm gonna just go picking you to your bank account. What? Yeah, gotta go. So I guess that getting through the turrets here uh, took a lot out of me. It uh, took a lot out of the ship. Damn. But you will get a lot of good, 
loot out of this place, I guarantee it. Now watch out for any containers that you might have destroyed along the way. Be sure to find uh, boxes and loot out of them as well. Now what you'll want in most ships are going to be these type of loots, which have the richest picking. Another 20 over here. And uh, how about this over here? Yeah, I can think shield generator is still activated. So if you want to pick on a guardian, yeah, go ahead. But be sure to be able to pay, pay the price afterwards. Oh my god. So now that we've gone over the ships, I think it's time to take over the bases. Bases? Haven't you busted up the behemoth enough? No, nah, I don't think so. Let's do this. So the first base we're going to be going up against is the Capacitor Matrix. There's also a Swarm Capacitor Matrix, but I think it all comes to the same thing. So for those, you'll be wanting to target mounted weapons and generators, because most of them are going to be surrounded by drones, like this one. Now, the way you'll want to approach this is to target from the top. Now these bad boys are shielded, so they'll be able to take a few hits before you can actually deactivate them. So it might be recommended at first to kind of wander around and destroy the drones while you can to give you a little bit less trouble. But, you know, none of that for me. I'm going to go directly for the capacitor matrix. Now, take down the shields and after that what you'll want to do from the top is aim right in the middle of the structure with your artillery. So once the shields are down, just fire right back in the middle over here. And wow, okay, that was not expected. Damn! Oh wow! Okay, there you go. Boom! We finally took out the core. Jesus Christ. That was a hell of a series of explosions. And after that, you can take out the rest of the drones if you haven't already done that at the beginning. Now the next thing we'll be taking on is the assembler. Now again, usually the assembler will be surrounded by destroyed vessels and some drones. So I am going to target turrets and generators. Now, I don't think there's any easy way of getting that POI done, aside from taking out all the turrets and actually going inside. So again, first thing, you might want to take down those drones and after that, go back with a full shield to take on the assembler. Now that most of the drones around it has been destroyed, we can just pretty much take care of lowering that bastard's shields, and after that taking care of the weapons. So, now that the shields are gone, let's focus on those weapons. Let's defang the beast. After that, we can proceed inside and collect a just reward. That might take a little bit of time, but uh, the reward should justify the means. And if you want to make sure it doesn't recharge its shields, the shield generator is at the bottom over here. Well placed artillery shot, and you should be able to destroy that quite quickly. And there it goes, no more shields. Now that that has been taken care of, you can go inside. Watch out, there's going to be a lot of these stinking drones now. Yeah, put down you. Now what you're looking for is that over here. This is a door in which the core lies. I'm just gonna blast my way through there and actually go inside, try to avoid the fire as much as possible. Oh my god, they almost killed me. So, blast your way inside. And, whoa, we got some friends over here, apparently. Hey, how's it going? Oh, shoot! <laughs> well, that wasn't very educational. Tells me how to die. Yeah, the idea of doing this with level 10 POIs, right? Okay, so once you've taken down the defenses, the core is right over here. Well, you can easily take it down with manual fire, and there you go. Now it's just time to uh, get your reward, and also a couple of uh, CPU extenders. So the last POI of the day will be the Swarm Nest. Just like the Capacitor Matrix, the Swarm Nest has a weak spot. Make sure to set your turrets to generator, and I'll show you exactly where we need to shoot. So, the Swarm Nest is just ahead, and shielded as well. To make sure that you're actually hitting the top, press O. It'll straighten your ship, and you'll know exactly where the top is going to be. Now, this POI has a weak spot. So, first of all, concentrate on taking down the shields, and after that, where everything is shooting right now is exactly where the generators are located. Take those suckers down and deactivate the base. Now, a little bit like most of the other ships, the shields are very strong with that one. So, once the shields are down, as they are just about now, your missiles and weaponry, automatic weapons, should do the rest. It'll eat through it and aim directly for the generators. 
And there you go. Three generators later, the base is now rendered useless. And then you can go inside and salvage the crap out of it. And with all the weaponry intact, that makes for good salvage. So guys, I believe that will be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. And guys, let us know what you think also. And maybe you have different techniques on taking out these ships and bases. So if you do, please share with us. And thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Rakuna out.